Hello everybody. I'm going to show you how to reinitialize your firmware in the SJ7000 uh, Sports Adventure camera. And I'm going to supply you with the link to the to the firmware file. Um, I've stored it on uh, Google Drive, uh, so uh, yeah, I would recommend that you that you use that link because you'll get the same firmware that I've installed on on my camera, and um, you'll know it's not been been tampered with. Presuming that Google Drive is is secure. Okay. Um, first thing is to consider that your uh, SD card that you put in the camera is um, is not good because I discovered that this in fact was the case with mine I got a 16 gig micro SD card with the camera which I thought was fantastic didn't have to go out and buy myself another micro SD card um, it worked um, a little bit for about an hour and then it stopped working and you know taking the battery out and putting it in and, uh, and all like that Finally, it worked again for another 20 minutes, and then it stopped working, and then that was it. So I contacted the supplier, and um, the supplier, um, yeah, uh, he's, they sent me the the firmware file, which is great because it didn't have the firmware, and they don't come with the firmware on stick, and uh, so it's pretty good to to have that file uh, because. If the software does get corrupted again, I can just simply reinstall it. Now, there is a procedure uh, to follow, but um, I, I, I first got it, got it installed, and then obviously it didn't, didn't work because the damn 16 gig micro SD card was, was bad. Thankfully, I had an, an old 2 gig micro SD card and um, I was able to put that in and hey presto the camera worked maybe the camera would have worked perfectly all along but we all benefit because we've now got um, the firmware um, to uh, yeah to reinitialize our video cameras if they ever do get corrupt so you're going to be able to download the, the file and stick it on, a com uh, on your computer somewhere and um, yeah, just have it uh, have it in hand. All right. So the um, the procedure. What you need to do is you need to place the micro SD card in one of these SD card adapters. Okay. You need to. Uh, have one of these mines like that all the the lands when you see the these copper copper lands here each inserted piece goes with the copper lands up so that one goes in like that and um, yeah, yeah it's already in <laughs> yeah there's the micro SD card and so uh, like that and then you can pop that in your computer now um, I reformatted that to fat so it was completely blank and then copied across the uh, the bin file onto the blank micro SD okay now you uh, with your with your camera switched off and uh, your the cable the USB cable with this mini connector at the end at the ready yeah you uh, you you place the the micro SD card in the the camera and you connect using the cable and that's important because by connecting the cable the camera auto switches on and it then goes straight away into um, 
updating the firmware. I actually tried it using the buttons, it didn't work for me. So I, w I, w I would suggest that you use the, the cable method. And uh, yeah, when you put the cable in, uh, you'll immediately get the uh, up, up, updating uh, screen as is shown here. Okay, um, as you can see, when the uh, when the process is finished, it will tell you that you can remove the um, the card. What I did is I unplugged the uh, the USB cable and then removed the SD card. I put it back into the adapter and deleted the bin file. Okay, so when I next put it in, it's completely blank. Put put the SD card, the micro SD card, back in the uh, in the camera. Switched it on. Everything worked perfectly. Okay, so the the software is software is good. Um, but that's the that's that's the key. It's uh, it's, it's formatting your card into FAT and transferring the bin file to it so that's the only file on it sticking it in the camera connecting with the cable it upgrades the, um, the firmware remove the cable remove the, um, the SD card delete the file, the bin file put it back switch it on Boom. it's done okay so um, yeah um, good luck with that sure it's gonna go fine um, download the download the file anyway why not you know if you've got an SJ7000 and you haven't got the, the firmware then you might as well take advantage of the, of the file that I'm, that I'm offering so uh, so yeah um, I think that's it you know we might do another um, video on um, on other aspects but uh, yeah there you go you can you can get your camera working again all right bye for now